What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 7, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Welcome to Dairy, and we'll talk a little bit about Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So starting off here with Scream 7, Jenna Ortega, who we know is not going to be returning to the film as Tara Carpenter, nor will her on-screen sister Melissa Barrera, but she gave a new comment to Vanity Fair recently addressing Melissa Barrera's dismissal from Scream 7. She said, the business that we work in is so touchy-feely. Everybody wants to be politically correct, but I feel like in doing that, we lose a lot of our humanity and integrity because it lacks honesty. She's not wrong. I wish that we had a better sense of conversation. Imagine if everyone could say what they felt and not be judged for it. And if anything, it sparked some sort of debate, not an argument. Now, where in this statement did she lie? There's so many important topics that cannot be addressed in a cordial capacity because our media and elected officials work overtime to keep us at each other's necks and we allow them to win at every turn. Spyglass could have had a sit down with Barrera. They could have avoided the further delays that have now happened for Scream 7. And we could have got that dual story with the core four and Sidney Prescott. But oh, well, this is a really good comment from Jenna. And for someone who's that young, it's nice to just see such a thoughtful perspective like that. Something about her perspective just seems like she is she has a bright future ahead of her is all I will say. But it's unfortunate we won't get to see Scream 7 that was intended. And it's really unfortunate because we could all be looking at Scream 7 right now. But due to the fact that Spyglass wanted to get rid of Melissa, we know we're in the position that we're in. We're not going to get the movie now until probably late 2025, possibly sometime in 2026. Hopefully, whatever it is that they're cooking up is still something that is of quality and not a stain on the franchise. But let's dive into Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, aka Beetlejuice 2, is right around the corner. In fact, if you check your local listings anywhere in your area, of course, you'll see an early fan access screening is happening two days before the film's official release next month. I wanted to discuss some information about Dolores and Beetlejuice, though. As a refresher... Dolores is Beetlejuice's ex-wife, and she's returning for her lover during the sequel. We see that highlighted in the trailer. She's in hot pursuit of Beetlejuice. We even see Wolf Jackson, played by Willem Dafoe, interrogating uh, Beetlejuice about his ex-wife that's after him. But how did these two meet? I revealed they met during a historical event, but I never said which one. If it hasn't been cut... You can expect Beetlejuice 2 to show you a scene between Dolores and Beetlejuice meeting during the Black Plague, which occurred in the 1340s. Now, I believe this is supposed to be some sort of black and white sequence, just highlighting how they met during the Black Black Plague. You'll see a flashback to their wedding, their wedding night, and the ultimate separation because Beetlejuice found out Dolores is out of her mind, <laughs> more so than he is. Now, the biggest takeaway here is that they met during the Black Plague, so hopefully that is not cut from the film, but I do know for a fact that that is the original plan, that they met during the Black Plague. So hopefully it was able to be shot, and hopefully you'll get that flashback in the film. I've seen the other trailers and TV spots that have released, and I'm excited to see this long overdue sequel, despite one person being pretty harsh on it to me, but I don't think I'll find it to be terrible or anything. I just know that there's one person I've been speaking to who... They do not like <laughs> Beetlejuice 2, but I haven't seen anything from the film that makes me feel like that yet. It seems like it's going to be a very good sequel. I don't think it's going to surpass the original, but like I said, it seems like it has a lot of heartfelt, family-centered themes that are going to resonate with a lot of viewers, especially if you're someone who's older and you were younger when that original film came out and you're watching it with your child. It should be a, a, a hit with families. I have no doubt about that, but... Let's dive into Welcome to Dairy. Welcome to Dairy has wrapped filming and it's arriving next year on HBO, I believe. I think it was supposed to come out on Max at one point, but then it got removed to be coming to Max and instead it's going to the actual HBO channel, but then it'll also simultaneously be released on Max, something of that sort. But Jason Fuchs announced this wrapping on social media a few days ago at this point. He said 234 shoot days later, that is a picture wrap on this season of Welcome to Dairy surreal what a ride can't wait for all wait for you all to see this thing now about two months ago we got confirmation that bill skarsgård will be back as pennywise after a year from when jeff snyder i believe originally told us he was working on a deal to sign and now we found out two months ago 
that Bill Skarsgård will be back as Pennywise because I know a lot of people were like, oh, well, if they're not going to have Bill Skarsgård back as Pennywise, who is it going to be? I mean, truth be told, the longer it went into production and us not hearing about who was playing Pennywise, it seemed like a safe bet that you would at least announce who your new Pennywise is if you had had one by now. So the longer they kept on going into production without announcing it, it seemed like a safe bet that it would end up being Bill Skarsgård and that Jeff Snyder's comments would add some truth to it. And ultimately, that's what we got. Now, we recently got some new shots from the show. It looks promising, but nothing too crazy yet. I'm looking forward to the show. I know I've done some separate videos talking about some of the episode titles potentially and what you can expect to go on in the show. I hope it's just something of quality, the same quality as that first film from 2017, maybe less so the 2019 sequel, even though I didn't really find it to be all that bad. I do still say that the 2017 film from Andy Muschietti is superior though, but hopefully Welcome to Derry is another quality addition from him in the It-verse. So last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So Matthew Lillard gave an update on that Five Nights at Freddy's sequel movie and when filming will start. He said this on a Scooby-Doo YouTube channel when asked about whether he'd be interested in having a cameo role in this Netflix Scooby-Doo film I guess they have coming, some TV show they have. Lillard said, we're journeymen on a career path. Sure, I would love to in some way honor the original show to give fans something fun. I'm available. I'm doing a TV show right now. I'm doing Five Nights at Freddy in October, but I'm available. If anyone wants me, they can find me if they need me. So from that excerpt, that's where we got our Five Nights at Freddy's news, even though the question was geared towards Scooby-Doo. So Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is going to be shooting in October. I think it's supposed to come out next December. All I can say is that I hope that it is a better film than the last one, because I know that the narrative going around was that you don't understand because you're not a diehard fan of the games or you have to understand the games better to understand the movie you could understand the game up and down east to west you can understand it until you're dead the movie was not good <laughs> that's all there is to it it does not matter if you understood the game or not if you understand filmmaking components there are components to that movie that were not executed well that's just what it was so hopefully five nights at freddy's 2 is a film that is good let me know what y'all think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.